Hey everybody, um, it's Christine here for Gluten is Gone, and today I'm just going to talk a little bit about eating out. For everybody out there who has celiac disease, I'm sure you all struggle with going out to eat. For me, that's like one of my favorite things to do, especially before I was diagnosed. I love to go out and explore and find new restaurants and get with my friends, and it's nice if you, you know, have a whole dining experience, and it's really hard to find out that all of a sudden all the restaurants that you wanted that you went to before you can't go to anymore or they don't have a gluten-free menu and so I'm just gonna help you guys a little bit with some things that have helped me with eating out um, I know something that's really hard for me is when my friends want to go out to eat and they want to invite me and then they remember oh wait and they're like oh where can you go you know every suddenly everything has to revolve around me for the whole group to be able to go out to eat and it's really hard it's hard having celiacs because it's not something that you can really keep a secret or not talk about it becomes I always feel like it's not just my problem, it's also my friend's problem because they have to figure out where they can go and eat with me or how to make me not get sick or they don't want me to feel like the oddball out but it always ends up feeling like such a hassle. So more and more restaurants are having gluten-free menus uh, but you have to be careful. A lot of corporate a lot of big chain restaurants have gluten-free menus that were developed in their corporate offices and they're just kind of sent down and the chefs in the restaurant don't necessarily know what gluten-free or what gluten is or how to make the dish truly be gluten-free so I really I would be careful of places um, like Outback, Chili's, a lot of those type places where that happens. Um, I've gotten sick every time I've tried going there and getting a gluten-free menu. I even went to Outback once and got a filet and shrimp and they brought it gluten-free and they brought it out on bread. So, and they were like, uh, we, this is the gluten-free version and I was like, it's on bread. And they, you know, they just didn't understand. So I would be a little more hesitant about those type places maybe go more for a salad or something that it's really basic and easy for them to understand and even if you order the gluten-free one just remind them no croutons or whatever and if you go to like a more local restaurant or a less chain type restaurant a lot of times even if they don't have a gluten-free menu if you get a good waiter you can ask them to go and talk to the chef the head chef make sure it's the head chef and see if he knows what gluten is and if he can make something special for you uh, recently I wanted to take my boyfriend out for his birthday and we went to the cheesecake factory he had always wanted to go and um, they don't have a gluten-free menu they used to I think but they don't anymore but I had a really helpful waiter and he went and talked to the chef and was able to help me find something that I could eat and I did not get sick. So, um, you know, it's all about just trying to stay positive and um, if you can find good places where you can talk to chefs. Um, and t Generally what I do is if I find a good place, I'll try and keep going there and, um, you know, kind of stick to more basic things. Um, so, and the restaurant I have to highly recommend is P.F. Chang's. They even bring your food out on specially marked plates. They're like the most gluten-free restaurant, gluten-free friendly restaurant I've encountered. Um, and it's hard sometimes because you feel different and you feel isolated. But um, as long as you can stay positive and um, it's nice if your friends are really supportive and they do still want to go with you and you'll kind of figure it out. Um, I also highly recommend um, there's an app you can get for your phone if you have like an iPhone, at, which is what I have, and it's there are two of them, um, and one is called Is That Gluten Free, um, and it just gives you like all you can search through all kinds of products that are registered, and it's really helpful. I'll probably do a separate blog about that, but there's also one gluten free eating out, and you can kind of see. It shows you different restaurants and things, and you can actually go in. It's more like fast food type places, and it'll show you their whole menu, and it'll um, go through um, what's safe, what is possibly contaminated, and what's not safe. And so that's also really helpful if you're going to be eating out. And don't ever be ashamed to bring something with you. It's not a big deal, 
and it's more about going out and having fun with your friends and with people than it is about eating the food from the restaurant. Um, so I hope that helps, and remember to subscribe to the channel, Gluten is Gone, and read my blog, Gluten is Gone, at blogspot.com.